Hello there, this is uh, part two of part two of the Alien Command setup. Uh, today in this video we'll be talking about the collective, how to set up your pitch uh, in relevant to the computer. So what we have here, we have the 3DX and all the Alien Command switched on. Uh, I've made a few alterations to the elevator and aileron channel. Uh, basically what we have here is in the centre, elevator gain, I've set that to 80 and the two rears I've set that to 40 so we've got basically if you add them together we have 80 on the back 80 on the front so we're moving on to the uh, collective gain and if you look here we're starting the centre if you look up to the up collective gain that's basically going up and the down collective gain the higher the percentage is going down so what we have here we have a negative stick at the moment and uh, so basically I've set some values so what we have here, so if I just go to the uh, the helicopter itself and we'll just look across the pitch gauge to the flybar so uh, I'll just zoom out a little bit I'll just uh, so obviously you can see there we are lined up with the flybar now if I go up stick and set the pitch gauge to positive 10 as you can see we are more or less straight with the flybar obviously we want to look across this here relevant to the flybar so if I just go down a bit We'll see, you can see that we're more or less on on the button there. So uh, just check my pitch gauge again and we're slightly off. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to double check everything. So we're going to go on the computer now and we're going to adjust the gains. So up collective gain, we're going to adjust it. I'm going to take that to 66. Make sure you make all the values the same on each one. 65, 66, going across. There we go. And we're just going to look across the flybar again. And we're almost there. I would say we are dead on. So basically, that is how you set your collective so you can get positive and negative so that's basically uh, this video and also in this video what we'll be doing we'll be doing the installation the mounting of everything so what we're going to do in this video is we're going to uh, we're going to disconnect everything so uh, I'll just bring the uh, camera up slightly so you can all get a better view at the uh, everything so I'll just bring it all up bear with me and what we're going to do now is we're just going to disconnect absolutely everything because basically we've we've set we've calibrated everything so what we're going to do now is just unplug it all because we all know where it all plugs into so we'll just reconnect it exactly how I said it in the first video and we're just going to Disconnect everything like so. So, we have the alien command, and then we have the uh, CL1 unit there. So, we'll just disconnect everything out the CL1 unit. Obviously, remembering which way the cables go and what have you, relevant to the helicopter. So, uh, it is very easy uh, to do. Uh, so what we're going to do now is we're just going to bring the uh, the 3DX um, to the operating table. So we'll just bring it over here. And we'll just bring the uh, camera over so we can see the different places for mounting. Now the first thing we're going to mount is the CL1 unit. So we're going to mount the CL1 unit, which is here. And I've found a good place for the CL1 unit on the 3DX, which is basically on the underside there. 
So we're going to mount it this way up in the CR1 unit. Easy to get the wires, and we can run the wires down the side of the helicopter. Another place we can mount the alien command. So if we get the alien command, which is here, make sure you get it the right way up. And we are going to mount that underneath here. So in right in there, you can actually, it fits perfectly within the frame, just like so. And if you can see, so it's actually fitting exactly in the frame. I'm going to put two sticky pads down each side and we'll mount that there. Also, the uh, the infrared unit, you can mount this, but don't plug it in just yet. Uh, we are going to mount that on the back here. We would normally put your gyro. I'm mounting my gyro inside here, uh, pretty much underneath the main shaft, so it has a best effect. So um, we'll go ahead and fit that. So the first thing you want to do in your kit come with two stickers. So we'll get hold of your stickers, which are these. And what we're going to do, we're going to just peel one side off and we're going to stick it to the underside of the. Uh, CO1, so we'll fit that very carefully. Obviously, you've only got one shot at this, so make sure you get it right. And we'll pull off the second sticker, so just make sure that it's nice and firm. We're going to turn the helicopter over on its uh, upside down, uh, move any wires out of the way that needs moving. Obviously, making sure that you get it the right way around and you can get to all the wires easy enough. So, we're going to fit that in there. Obviously it's a very fiddly job when you've got wires in the way so make sure you move them all. I'm making sure all the wires are tucked away. So there's the CO1 unit. We're going to mount it there. The next thing we're going to do at the moment is we're going to get a cable tie. So we have a cable tie here. And just for security, we're going to mount a cable tie around there. So I'll do that later on. So what we have here is the Alien Command. And I've um, got some sticky pads of my own. And I've just cut them in small slivers. And what we're going to do, we're just going to peel the sides off. And we're going to mount them to the side of the Alien Command. There. And here, so I have another one, and these will be squished in between the frame when we tighten it up. And I'm going to fit that there. Obviously, cutting off the excess as well. So we have two stickers each side of the alien command, so we can fit that within the frame underneath. So we can fit that in here under there between the two frames. So when you watch part three, I'd have mounted it all, and I'll run you through um, how I've done it, uh, anything I come across. But that's basically it. So we can mount one wires down one side of the helicopter, obviously going across to the to the CR one unit, and all the wires coming from the servos, uh, etc., running down the second side to the CR one unit, and um, what have you, and all the aileron channels that plug in here run down the opposite side of the frame. So I hope you like this video and I hope this uh, helps you a little bit in the uh, installation of the Alien Command. Uh, in part 3 uh, we'll be um, mounting the infrared system and uh, some calibration tips. So thanks for watching this video and goodbye.